Hello, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. We are moments away from kickoff, and we've got a good one on tap between the Carolina Panthers and the San Francisco 49ers. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Well, the onset of fall weather, Coach, certainly a welcome occurrence for folks in Silicon Valley. And we've got football on a gorgeous day here in Santa Clara as we are situated at Levi's Stadium. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the Levi's Stadium tunnels, and the noise level in this place was deafening. They're set for football as the 49ers get ready to do battle with the Carolina Panthers. Hi again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at these 49ers as they interplay here. They come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories. And they looked awfully good last week and came away with a two-touchdown victory. They did have a few reasons for concern defensively, but all in all, they'll take a repeat here if they could get it. On the other side of the field for the visiting Panthers. They were losers their last time out. They're going to try to get back in the win column, but obviously they're going to have to do that in a hostile environment. And sometimes it actually works to your advantage. Now you've got to band together your team, the us-against-the-world mentality. Let's see if they can use it and get a victory. Teams about to reach the halfway point of this NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. This is taken at his four. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. So here are the Panthers now for their opening drive. At a glance at the man under center at 6'5, he always demands attention. And what's a quarterback's best friend? Balance? I think you're right. <laughs> I agree with you. You know, a lot of guys would say great receiver, right? A terrific offensive line. But I agree Better. with you. Balance, you because stop. if you can run the ball effectively, that just opens things up for guys who want to throw it and gives you easier passing lanes and easier coverages to read. And they said balance will be a focus in this one. Yeah, they don't want it all just heaped on his shoulders, I don't believe. I think they want to make sure they take some of the pressure off. And here now the offense for Carolina. And this team is coming in off of their open week, and to me, a pretty good time to have it, too, because it's pretty much right in the middle of the season. On, so I would think that they'll be pretty well rested and ready to go for the second half of the season. But even more importantly, they got a little bit of a mental break as well. That's going to help, too. On second down now. It's Moore, and the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Call that a loss of five yards on the play. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Throwing on third and long. Collins looking left side. He's got it complete. And they're able to get the five. It's a Carolina first down on a gain of 16. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Collins operating from the gun. The throw complete to BB. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A good pick up there, 22. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 43. Back to throw. Collins. That throw good for four. It's second down. But look now at the defense's starting lineup for the 49ers. They're a top five unit right now against the pass in the league. In fact, they sit at number five. And I'm struggling a little bit trying to really categorize this crew. They're top ten in the league against the pass, but the bottom half of the league in sacking the quarterback. That doesn't make sense. Imagine if this group ever put pressure on the QB. They'd easily move into the top five. Second and six. He's got his man on the crossing route. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 20-yard line. 
How about to start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. In this case, though, he's honing in on his targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script, however, they drew it up for this first drive, going to plan so far. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Call it a gain of three. And that's going to lead to a third down. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production. But I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And it was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. You can't block me. You can't block me. Ready? They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll wind up being a loss of two, and that'll make it second and goal. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And yeah, now they're looking for the big boys to get him in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? They'll wind up getting seven on the completion, but they'll still be faced now with a third and goal situation. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. That well, was a third and somewhat manageable now, not so manageable. Exactly, because you had a play call down. on that you felt like, hey, this could go quick, and it doesn't take much to get it done. Now, you got to start thinking about a little bit of a deeper route type of a call, especially if you want to throw it. A bad time for a false start penalty as they're backed up now for third and goal. And it's caught. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. From eight yards out. And the Panthers take it right down and score on the opening drive. Building confidence after a loss, that's a good way to do it. The loss last game, but first drive here in this one, cashing it in for six. If they can talk all they want about putting a loss behind them, I think that drive there did more than any conversation they had, don't you think? That's exactly right. Puts that to bed, and this is what they said all week long. A lot of things they needed to do differently, but whatever they said appears to have worked. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. And a look here at their go-to guy under center. And what I enjoyed watching this week when we had a chance to watch them at practice, the easy camaraderie that he has with his offense. A lot of respect. A lot of respect, and frankly, I thought it spilled over to the defense. I thought the defensive guys were coming over and teasing and joking with him. You can tell they respect the heck out of him and yeah. really want to play well for him. Now they try the right side here. Space to maneuver at the 40. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. They'll get 17 on that one, and the Niners have a first down. Now, that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Now Young. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. And this whole line, it is the lifeblood of the offense. They established the tone. Mean, nasty, physical. They can't wait to get after people. That allows the rest of the offense to feel confident. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Throwing again. Young. And he's got his big tight end over the middle, complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 37. I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses because when you can have that type of a game in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways because 
right. Most two, teams like to go. be strong down the middle. And if you can sting them there, that open things up for you on the outside as well. But that's where he, their big tight end, is so good. That middle third, the seam routes, the in routes. Yeah, you're right. Probably see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well. But he's got it. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. First and ten. Young, wide open receiver complete. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. The Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And a little bit of space there takes it inside the five to the three. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. Well, look now at our starting defense. They're currently sixth in the NFL in defending the run. Now if they could just get their pass defense in line, this unit would be really, really strong and come to the conversation. And it's complete in the end zone. Touchdown 49ers from three yards out. And the 49ers have now taken the lead. And in the red zone, I guess this is why you have a guy like that on your roster. Without a doubt, and if you have him, you use it because he's a guy who's going to win just about every time. I don't care what the coverage is. Extra point right down the middle. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. So that drive consumes... Nine plays all told. And the end result for the 49ers, a touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This one fielded at the five. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. 
Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. He put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Hey, I don't know about that. Bash, dude. Super tall. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. And now the drive starts with a completion out to the right. Illegal touching. Offense. So they say we'll let that completed pass stand and we'll bring up third down decline. instead as they decline it. So they're comfortable with the yardage. The big thing to them is what you pointed out, getting it the third down and making a play there. Yeah, let's get set lunch. Collins now on third down. Looking left side and it's complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Give him 15 there and the Panthers have a first down. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped and that can turn to an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together and he catches it and goes over the sideline. Meanwhile here, a run on first down really backfires as he's going to be brought down well behind the line of scrimmage. That'll go as a loss of five. And it'll be a second and long. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. On second down, it's more. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Panther football to start quarter number two as they're facing a very tough third and 11. The Panthers on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This is third and 11. Looking to throw, Collins. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll be fourth down. That was well defended, and while it was a completion, it resulted in a loss of yardage. It's really, really hard for a running back to think to himself, I probably should have just dropped it and saved the yardage. It goes against the entire training that he's had his whole career. And he didn't quite have the bag spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. A reminder, later tonight, Sunday Night Football, we'll see a game in the NFL 100 series, a rematch of the very first AFL-NFL championship game, later, of course, known as Super Bowl One. It pits the Packers against the Chiefs from Arrowhead, and that should be a fun one. And they're able to get this one across the 35. They'll get 17 on that one, and the Niners have a first down. As far as tight ends go, this guy's not a speed burner. He's much more of an inline blocking type of a tight end. But how about this last play? Made a nice catch and picked up a first down. That's what impresses me about him. When he's called upon, usually gets it done. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. Yes, it's the first half, but we'll see if that stuff there on third and one comes back to haunt him. I hope you don't mind, but it's not going to stop me from putting a check mark next to this play. Let's look back as this game progresses and see if this is one of the key plays in the game, even though it occurred early. 
So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis, or do you prefer ping pong, you know, back and forth like that? That definitely was excellent, wasn't it? Firing quickly here, and that's complete. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. And he gets it up to the 10-yard line here. They'll wind up with seven on the dump off, but it'll set up third down. The Panthers on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and seven. Now Collins. Off play action. And he's going to go down. Back at his own five-yard line. It's a sack. I think most quarterbacks would love to have the goal line actually extend up into the air and turn into a wall. So they could put their back against it and know exactly where they are on the field so they don't end up in the end zone. Didn't do it on that play, but perilously close to the goal line. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. So here are the Niners to take over on offense. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and 10. An opening there on that first down run as he gets his forward for about eight or nine. That looks to be eight officially, so second and two. From just shy of midfield, Young. That'll be caught by Rice. Catch number 44 of on the year. It's a first down. Those are the kinds of plays right there that show you why he's the number three man of the NFL in terms of receiving yards. Also tells you there's a full combination of what he's got going in his game. You name it from route running to catching the football. That's why he's able to produce those types of numbers. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. 54 is Mike. 54 is Mike. Check, check. Here is Young. Over the middle, that's caught by Rice. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. In for the score. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. The extra point splits the uprights, and that pushes the lead up to 11. So that drive, four plays, and it's polished off by a touchdown for San Francisco. Now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here come the Panthers now, set to take over on offense. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. Let's go. 60 Pittsburgh. Strip the ball. Strip that ball. Jump to the trip. trip. On first down. More. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. The Panthers have the first. It's a gain of 12. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Ready, ready, ready. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now a 
first carry for their fullback. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. And that's a nice game by him on first down, picking up some key yardage. Hey, here's Collins off the bootleg. Throw left side complete. That's more. Four yards to pick up. First down. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do, and that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play, one-on-one -on -one matchup if someone's trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. This quarterback now... Pretty remarkable. 14 of 15 through the air, only one incompletion. And another first and 10 here. They run on first down as they get about three. Second and seven, forthcoming. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Here's a second and seven. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And a six-yard gain gets them right around the 43. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. The Panthers on third down. They've hit it 50%. Three of six to this point. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. And he finds a man with a crossing route. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. On second down now. Workman, and he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Throwing is Collins on first and 10. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. A minute 55 left to go in the first half of play. Coming up at halftime, we remind you once again that we're going to check in with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL as we reach now. Hard to believe the half. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around a 30. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Collins from the gun, he'll throw. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. The one with the dive look that time on defense just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. Made his first, this now from 46 yards away. And it is good. Oh, that one looked to be in trouble the whole way, but it does get over the bar. And a second field goal here cuts their deficit to 14 to 6 now. A dozen plays on that drive that ends with the field goal. Let's go ahead and break out some of the old chestnuts here, right, partner? Keep the ball in front, rally to it, and make the tackle. Right? No big plays given up. No balls over your head. Bend, don't break. Hold on, hold on. Chestnuts? Huh, you like Come that on. one? What does that mean, break out? That just because you break chestnuts? I, I'm not sure about that, but I'm just going with why they said that. I have no idea. Now here's the signal caller getting ready to lead this offense again. And he's been good. Two first-half touchdown passes, no interceptions so far. Does a lot for your confidence. Does a great deal for your team. 
gives them a lead, and they're feeling really good about how they're playing. I think he expects to throw at least another one. I was going to say, now he wants the first half hat trick, doesn't he? Oh, without a doubt. Go ahead and fling him on the field, folks. He wants that type of celebration. A little too aggressive defensively, and the flag comes out. And no one trying to cover is going to like a call going against them, but you have to like the effort there. Went for the interception, just unable to get it, and the flag did come out. Now this one complete on the slam round. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. First down, Young. He'll find Taylor. That's complete. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves them with a very manageable second and one. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Two yards, good enough for a first. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. On second and run, Young. And he hauls it in, in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. And that'll give them a two-score lead here, but I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here in the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all, because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and carry it into the second half. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is up to 15 now. The drive summary that time, five plays. And the end result for the 49ers, a touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. Back to throw. Collins. Going to throw right side here. Complete. 13 yards, first down, Panthers. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on them, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Second and 10. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Came up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it, leaving him with his third and one. Looking to throw. Collins. Throwing right, and that's complete. So much for the run on third and one. Instead, it's a big chunk in the pass game. First down. From the 32 now. Here's first and 10. Single, single, slot, slot. Hey, you're on an island over there. You're on an island. Right Collins now operating from the gun. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. This is a 49-yard attempt. Right hash. And this one is right through. 
And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This one fielded at the five. Here we go, here we go. So we come upon halftime and what's a 12-point game at the break. As we send you cross-country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Hi again, everybody. Let's get you caught up with what's going on around the league here in the unofficial midway point, week eight of the NFL season. We'll get started over at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in downtown Atlanta, where you see the final score there. 14-7, the final score. From there, we'll head up to Indy to check on the Colts at home at Lucas Oil Stadium. And they trail the visiting Denver Broncos in that one. The Broncos seem to be on their way to what would be a good victory. Finally, let's get down to the Bayou. Check on the Saints at home at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome. And they were winners in that one over the visiting Arizona Cardinals. 31-6, the final score. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? It's the 49ers out in front, and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half. This is taken at his four. And there is a flag as he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. But who's this going to be against? Defense. Charles, did I just hear that right? They declined the personal foul. Three yards, they just declined them. And I have to think that the yeah. official is thinking to himself, did I just hear that correctly, that you declined that one? All I can think of is that someone on the field got confused. Because they had to, because you're going to take the yards on that penalty each and every time. A run there on first down gets him a yard to the 26. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, Creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Hey, hey, we're on. 54 is Mike, 54 is Mike. Check, check, watch 54, watch 54. Yeah. And they just get the playoff. Now Young throwing the out route incomplete. It's Rice. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. His big game continues. Already has the three touchdown grabs, tacking on some more yardage and a first down. And how precise has his route running been in this game? We just saw him get open yet again. And he's also made adjustments as the defense is trying to really stop him. They'll run on first down. Carter, and he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Hey, backstrap, backstrap. Mike's by four, Mike's by four, Mike's by four. From the 40 now on second down, Young, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Here's Young from the shotgun. Man open, Rice. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. Nice catch right there. Brings to mind the sentence. When in doubt, find your veterans. He used to laugh back in the day when they would call guys like him crafty veterans. You, know, you get up in your 30s, you're still playing receiver, but you're around that long at that position, you're doing something right. Just remember this. When he was young, he thought the crafty veteran was something guy couldn't run anymore. Now he understands a little bit better. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. 
always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Seven yards there and a first down. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest game, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. From the 31, Young flowing over the middle, but it's incomplete. When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. An eight-play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. Young working out of the gun. And he comes back with one complete. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of the first down. So put another three on the board. All things considered, a good opening drive to begin the third quarter. And as a defense, the way that this game is going, you're excited to see those points go on the board. Gives them a little bit of leeway to play with when they're out on the field, but they're real excited to see their offense score. Now they get to go out there and do their part. On first down, Moore. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. Just a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Now Collins to throw on third down. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. And now look at this, big game, but a fumble. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. Hey, shoot. Shoot. Young now, after the fumble recovery, he completes it to Jones. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. It'll go as a first down for San Francisco on a pickup of 16. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. Eluding the pressure right. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short game. Throwing again on second down. Young is complete to Jones. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. 27 yards there, a first down. 50, plant. Uh, go. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. 
A great effort there. His first touchdown on the year. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. Could not block that one any better. Everyone was accounted for, and a great surge by the offensive line. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead opens up now to 22 points. Just a four-play drive that time. And it ends with a three-yard scoring run. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long. Now a loose football. The ball comes out. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And across the goal line, into the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. So the defense forces the fumble. They get the score. They got Extra point attempt to follow here. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. This will be fielded at the eight. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. Looking for a bounce back. Had the fumble a moment ago that went for a touchdown the other direction. See if he can get back in rhythm. And you have to be very careful about having too quick of a hook with really good players. I did a guy's game in high school where he fumbled three times in the first quarter. Finished with over 300 yards in the night. Later ended up in the NFL. If you've got a talented back, give it back to him. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Here's a quick hitch route and the throw complete. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. A gain of five. Good enough for the first down. They'll run on first down. More. And he'll only get a yard, maybe two, up to the 46. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Moore. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. have an extra defensive back on the field. A nickel set for third down. And here's Collins. From the gun, he'll throw. Looking downfield, and that's caught right side. He's got his man. It's a Carolina first down on a gain of 16. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. This quarterback now, five straight completions here in this second half, first and ten. And now whistles and a flag. And I think we got to jump here. Defense. A little antsy on the left side of the line. Yeah, I think they got the guy in the end. I think they got the DN there on that one. And let's face it, he is so amped up. Wanting to get a good get off on the snap. Jump too quickly. Now a chance to make that encroachment penalty really hurt. First and five. Back to throw. Collins. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. 
Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. On the ready. 51 the mic. Hey, pick it up, defense. Let's go. Check nine, check two. Throwing is Collins on first down. That is caught at the seven. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. And the game just keeps evolving. Big guys running those corner routes, so difficult to cover. Try and run for it on first and goal. And he is in. Touchdown, Carolina. A great play there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Panthers, they're able to draw a bit closer. And that touchdown ends a streak, for lack of a better word, of three field goals that they put on the board previously. They finally cracked the code. Yeah, they've been down there. They've been in enemy territory, as you said. They just hadn't been able to punch it in until that point. Extra point splits the uprights, and that will get them one closer. So that drive in total eight plays, and it results in a four-yard touchdown run. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The San Francisco offense getting their last-minute instructions before they take over here. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 13 yards there and a Niner first. What's the old adage, partner? Don't judge the book by its cover, because this guy, he takes a mantra that he'll go down with a brisk gust of wind and sets it on its head. Great effort there to break a tackle and come up with a nice game. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Young off the bootleg. Now Young loses the football. It's stripped. And it's picked up by the Panthers. 20. 10, and he takes it into the end zone. It's a fumble recovery and a touchdown for the Panthers. So hold the phone here, Charles. I've kind of written them off, but after that touchdown, it's certainly a long way still to go, but stranger things have happened. Well, when you're going to have big second-half comebacks, plays like that have to be involved. The defense more than did its job. Now the offense is summoned onto the field as they'll go for two. Collins, following the fumble recovery, he'll throw. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Now they had the big play on the fumble return. They were looking for the one-two punch, but they couldn't get that two-point conversion. And I have to wonder, were they scheduled to go ahead and kick the extra point? But after a play like that, you talk about the one-two punch, right? It's a momentum play. Go for two and really try to capitalize, and that's what they attempted. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. This is fielded at the goal line. 
and he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. They get just two out of it there, and it's second down. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's 49er football here. They've got the lead as well as we get set to start the fourth and final quarter. From the 24, Young. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. The Niners on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and eight. And Young's throw there incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And no one there to stop it. Hits it the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. First down, looking for Green, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 30, and his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. That time defensively looked like they showed quite a bit of pressure, but backed off, and it proved fruitful. They get the pick. He went through all of his rules about getting rid of the ball quickly because he read blitz. He saw all those people stacked at the line of scrimmage, and then they fooled him by dropping into coverage. Now he's ready to get rid of the ball fast, but guess what? Too many defenders out there. Exactly as you described, an interception. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on off. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. That huge loss on the sack. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Young to throw it. Over the middle complete. That's Rice. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 23 yards the pick up there. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era, and we think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. <laughs> That's all they care about right now. Here we go, here we go. He can do stuff. 54, 54. On the on. And they give this time to the tailback. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. This defense against the run, by the way, they're not top five, but they are top ten. So what's your philosophy here? Do you try and run the ball against a team that's pretty good against the run? What if you're a pretty good running team? If so, you might want to go ahead and run it anyway because that's your strength. Another two-yard gain there, but they'll need to do better this time. It's third and six. Two yards on the first down carry, and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in a cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. Now that was a big-time play by the defense. They as well knew where the first down line was, and they didn't let them get anywhere near it. And his kick here is good. And that will make this now a 19-point advantage. 
So with that, you figure that this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down. But don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen. And you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Aren't I, though? Let's field it a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. And that interception that ended their previous drive likely also ended any shot they had a victory. Yeah, long road back from here, no doubt about that one. But let's face it, if you're going to go out there and compete, you want to try and end on a special note, don't you? Absolutely. It won't end in a victory, like you said, but they can maybe take something positive out of this one. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 11 yards and a Panther first down. Now Collins on first and ten. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. On first down, it's Baldwin. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Second and two. And now a fumble. The ball's out. And this is going to be 49er football. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Insane. Down down this big in the yeah, fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. The San Francisco offense getting their last-minute instructions before they take over here. Now that turnover might just about do it. Here, fourth quarter, the lead that you've got, they can just run the football, run the clock. Exactly right. They played smart. A couple of first downs, and this one should just about be over. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. And he'll give it here to his running back. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. The Niners on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. Jumpy on the right side of the line. Sometimes when you're on the end, a little bit farther away from the ball, any type of movement will get you to jump, and that's exactly what happened there. Maybe a critical mistake at this juncture is now they've got a first and ten. Ready? Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep, and that would cover beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three yards here, and that'll make this a second and 13. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because, let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. Off the bootleg. Young. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and it's going to be third down and a ways to go here. Third and 14. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. Ready, ready! Young now, off the bootleg. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. 
Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. Yeah, blink of an eye. That happened fast and a big sack. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he's on here to punt it away. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. Now the Panthers offense, they get set to come back onto the field. And last time the turnover on the fumble, and they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, and push it past the 50-yard line so they felt they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? Play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. And here's Collins operating from the gun, and that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Looking to throw Collins, and this time he's got the hook up. It's complete. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Back to throw, Collins. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. 11 yards and a Panther first down. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And all the way down to the 17-yard line. 14 yards, good for a Panther first down. Some big plays in the passing game on this drive. And here's one out of the running game. So the passing game, loosening things up. Now there's room to roam. Down, 60 pitch for They'll run on first down. It's Baldwin. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Yeah. They'll get six on the play, and it's going to take us to the two-minute warning. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. That's complete right around the eight. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Looking to throw, Collins. And he is going to go down, back at the 11-yard line. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Second and 11. Well, that was point counterpoint, wasn't it? They decided to throw for it on first and goal. Instead, the defense counters with pressure, and the defense wins, getting a big sack. This has been a long drive. you got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can the and this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. And yes, they the want the points, so they will decline the penalty. No question there. You don't think they spent a couple of seconds mulling over what the penalty would do I don't even do know why they asked the sideline. Not at all. When you put the ball in the end zone on a takeaway, take the points and keep moving. 
point after, right down the middle. And that will shave one more off this lead. A 10-play drive that time. And Carolina scores to cap it off. So two scores down. Time definitely not an ally, but here comes the onside kick. And the 49er hands team does its job. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. The 49ers offense now, they work their way back onto the field. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. Young here to throw. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts. As they'll get it with just a shade under a minute to go in the game. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Going to give this time to the tailback. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 55 seconds remaining in the football game. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. Now a handoff here to his running back. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout. As the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in quarter number four. And they'll indeed take a knee. So now here comes the field goal team for the third time today. From the left hash, this from 46. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Let's go, baby. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Well, this is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And... The defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for the Niners, they move back over 500 now at 4-3. and three. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Arizona Cardinals. Meanwhile, for Carolina, they suffer their fourth loss so far. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.